All right, guys, so today we're gonna get the engine bay painted on the S14. Uh, Jeremy spent a good few hours getting this thing all ready to go. He killed it. It's looking really nice. So uh, we did see some of the comments. Someone mentioned that we should put some tin foil on like the wires and stuff like that. And we tried it out, so. Dude, that stuff is so helpful. Like, it, was it? Was it oh, good? dude, all you gotta do is rip a piece and then just like crimp it on. Like, I'm gonna start doing that a lot now. This is so yeah, it looks, it looks pretty easy to do. Yeah, it It's a lot easy. easier than messing with like all this crap. Yeah. But it's pretty much ready to go. We're gonna throw some paint on it. And uh, in between some layers of paint, I think we're gonna run to the uh, auto parts store and drop off some oil we have because all these jugs back over here, those are all completely filled. This five gallon jug right here is filled and uh, this pan right here is also filled. And we just got some oil for the wagon because we were uh, driving that around today. And I also got some oil right there for my daily van because that needs an oil change as well. So we're gonna get some paint on this thing and then we're just gonna do some oil changes in between. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how today's gonna go. So hopefully we can get the bay done today. and. Uh, that will be the goal. So we'll see how far we get. All right, so we got the engine base sprayed with some primer. Now we can add the color. And uh, while that was drying, we took some of our oil and got that all drained out. And I'm getting ready to do an oil change on the wagon real quick uh, after we get this next coat of paint on. So she's coming along. It's looking good already. I kind of like just the primer gray, honestly, but I think the purple will look better. So we just sprayed the purple and it's looking really good. Now the last step is just to spray the clear and the engine bay will be ready to go. All right guys, so the engine bay is ready to go. The clear coat is dry and uh, everything is unmasked. I'm really happy with how it came out. It looks really nice. Uh, just kind of sucks that we have to keep this old cruddy engine harness in the bay and we also have to like remount this little power steering thing right here that just kind of looks like crap. It would be nice to get like a nice tucked harness and you know make it look that much cleaner but we're not trying to spend the extra time and money on this thing right now so we're just gonna have to reuse that old cruddy engine harness but the engine bay looks much better than it did before way better than that mint blue that it had that was just completely beat up and fading and just all kinds of different colors and different spots so this came out really good and i think it looks a lot better than the color it had before i think it matches the car a little better now it kind of has a barbie theme going on to it but I like it. I like the purple a lot. Let me know what you guys think. I know some of you guys were having second thoughts about the purple, but I'm really happy with how it came out. I like it a lot. Now that the engine bay is done, we can finally start working on the motor, get this thing fully disassembled, and then start to rebuild the SR. Uh, the bearings are over here. Got these from Brent a few days ago. These are just King racing bearings. We got some main and rod bearings right here for the SR. So need to start on that real soon. We have the new set of Eagle H-beam rods to throw in there, and then we're probably just gonna use the stock pistons for now. Hopefully the piston rings are in good shape as well, or else we're gonna have to order some new rings. So we'll see once we get the motor pulled apart, and we'll probably also have to order a head gasket and other little things, but we'll figure all that out when we start tearing into it. Also, I got the oil change done on the wagon, and the Wago is running good. I actually just took it to the store to go get some things. The oil was really nice and clean, which is good. Well, I mean, it was kind of dirty, but there was no uh, metal shavings in it. So that's what I was mainly looking for. Zero metal shavings. So that is awesome. Hopefully this motor will finally hold up. I am really starting to drive my Wago more again. And I am starting to trust it a little bit every day. Each time I drive it, I get more and more comfortable with it. So hopefully this motor holds through. 
Uh, she has brand new oil in there, new oil filter, and uh, she feels like she's running great. So, yeah. Not sure how long this video is gonna be. Sorry if it was a little short. Uh, we really don't have anything else going on for tonight. So pretty much just gonna be an update video for you guys. Um, it is kind of getting hard keeping up with all the videos. Um, I'm trying to you know, make more content for you guys. But I am still going to class. For those of you who don't know, I am taking welding. And I should be done in like May. So hopefully when I'm done with that, then I'll have all the time in the world. It'll take a lot of uh, load off my back. But for now, I'm still trying to get some content for you guys. So. Hopefully you enjoy these videos, even if they're just kind of little updates here and there. And uh, yeah, we still have a lot to do within the next few months, so I'm just trying to balance everything all at once. Thank you guys for all the support. Hope you enjoy the video, and as always, thanks for watching. Quick sneak peek on the hatch. The windshield is out. Uh, be ready for some videos coming up on this in the next few days.